How to grade an assignment using a rubric in Moodle 2.8. First of all, we have to take into account that in order to use advanced grading with rubrics, you should have manager rights or editing teacher permissions. The first thing we have to do is add an activity or resource. We are going for activities, which is what can be graded with rubrics, and choose assignment. Click on that and then click add. We are going to expand it all now so that we have all the fields available. And the first thing we're going to do is give our assignment a name. For example, create an avatar. Description is also compulsory, so we should give the instructions of our assignment here. Scrolling a bit down, we are not going to add additional files. We can also choose when our assignment is going to be available for submission, if we enable date or disable it. Uh, exactly in the same way, we can enable the final date uh, for the assignment to be submitted, due date, or disable it. And we could even enable a cut-off date. That is, after the due date, we can still permit delayed submissions until certain date, which is the cut-off one. We can enable it or disable it. We can also choose to always show description or disable it. And we can also customize the submission types if we'd like our students to submit online text or file submissions. Depending on the kind of assignment we are asking them to do, we will need both or just one of them. We can also uh, customize the number of uploaded files that we are going to allow Admit, uh, uploading, sorry, and uh, the maximum size, depending on the uh, site and uh, the um, settings of the site, we will have uh, bigger files admitted or lighter files admitted. We can also uh, customize feedback comments if they are allowed, if we can also um, send our students feedback files once we are grading um, our assignments and even an offline grading worksheet. Um, we can also customize submission settings, group submission settings, notifications and grade, which is what we are going to um, stay for a bit further for a more detailed description of uh, grading with rubrics. As you see, uh, you can grade with point or scale. Um, you can um, customize the scale if you have administrator rights in the site and the maximum points for each assignment. But what we are going to customize now is the grading method. You can choose um, among three options, simple direct grading, marking guide, rubric. So we're going to choose rubric because that is what we are going to focus on this video clip. We scroll down until the end and we are going to customize the activity completion too. We can choose uh, between do not indicate activity completion so uh, they won't see their progress tracking and we can also um, decide if our students can manually mark the activity as completed or um, show the completion when some conditions are met. That's what we are choosing and the conditions are going to be that students must receive a grade to complete this activity. So once we grade their assignment they will see a green check next to the assignment that will show them that that is passed and completed. When we've finished with the customization, you, we just save and display. Do not save and return to course, but save and display because that will show the online rubric we are going to set up for this assignment. 
So, there we are, the advanced grading for our assignment. We can define the new grading form from scratch or if we've already defined any rubric before and uh, saved it as a template, we should be able to create new grading from uh, templates. But we're starting from scratch, so we click on define new grading form from scratch. First of all, we should give our rubric a name. Let's say rubric, um, sorry, rubric for assessing avatar assignment. We can choose to give a description for the rubric or not. We are giving a description and here is how we can set up our rubric. We can edit criteria and levels. Um, by default, Moodle has three levels, zero points, one point, two points, and we could add levels uh, depending on our needs. It's so easy as to click and add our first criteria. For example, elements of the avatar. We can then click to edit the level, say for example, poor, and uh, level one could be um, neat avatar and level three, um, let's say for example, proficient. We of course can add levels as well. Uh, another level could be for example, mastery, right? Of course you can reorder and uh, organize the uh, criteria and the levels as you wish. Um, when we are ready with that, we now have one criterion and four levels to uh, grade. We can add another criterion, let's say for example um, visual elements of the avatar and decide that we are going to grade an avatar as poor because it has no visual elements. And uh, as you see, you can add a description of your level. We are going to say that this uh, neat avatar when it um, is visual but not coherent, for instance. And we could go on like that, adding different levels and uh, different descriptions of the level. When we think we are ready, we can decide to save it as a draft and finish it later maybe, or uh, save rubric and make it ready for assessing our assignment. So we're going to choose this option, save rubric and make it ready. And uh, there you see the create an avatar grading summary. And we are going to switch our role to student to check how our students would see the assignment. As you see here, they see the grading criteria, the rubric ready.